So today in Beam and G Drive, we're checking out four of the weirdest mods I've ever seen. We've got a Widgeon Crawler. We've got a dedicated Boat Wydra. We have a Lagrand Off-Roader that is super wide. And last but not least, we're going to be doing police chases with a cannon-mounted truck. So hit that thumbs up button and let's jump in. So have you ever looked at the Widgeon and went, I don't know what the point of this thing is. It's a cool little car. Don't really use it too often. Well, folks, that's about to change. As you can see, we were out in Utah, and if you uh, feast your eyes over here, somebody has made a Widgeon rock crawler. Like, folks, this is a legit crawler setup in a Widgeon, and oh my goodness, uh, it actually looks incredible. Like, you can't even really tell it's the Widgeon. Like, it looks so different with the uh, added frame supports and the uh, suspension. Uh, it's crazy. So, yeah, today is all about the weird vehicles. And, folks, uh, this is probably the, I want to say the least weird one, <laughs> if that says anything of what's happening here. Also, there is nitrous in this. Uh, I don't know why, but, yeah, we have nitrous. Hold on, let's stop it real quick. Let's admire the interior. It's actually, it looks good. Like, it looks really good. You can see the NOS bottles in the back. Uh, like, everything about this setup is really, really awesome. Uh, very legit-looking uh, off-roader. Now, there is uh, three different versions of this. So, if we go down to the Widgeon, uh, you will see the Stage 1, the Stage 2, and we are currently in the Rock Racer. So, this one's more for rock crawling and dune hopping, and it violates OSHA regulations. <laughs> nice. So, yeah, ultimately, it's still Widgeon. It's still not the fastest. Uh, I think you probably might pair this with a mod for the Widgeon engine and probably give it more power. Uh, which would be really good, but I want to test this out. I actually want to go up to one of the uh, little rock crawling cliffs up here and uh, try to get up it. But, I mean, man, it's handling the bumps really well. Like, this is so odd looking. I don't know what it was about the BMG repository, but it's been really weird the past week. Uh, as you saw from a couple days ago, we played with a basically a Power Wheels car. And yeah, now we're dealing with this, uh, even though this is really, really honestly cool. Okay, we got a nice cliff here. Let's cross the road real quick. Uh, man, it really absorbs the bumps really nice. Uh, hold on, let's go ahead and start to crawl up here. Might stick it in the low. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it feels like there's not a bunch of power here anyways. I, I don't think it's going to, like, totally spin the tires and slip. Okay, the differentials are locked. Uh, let's go ahead and start to crawl up. Can we just, like, roll up this rock here? Uh, very satisfying. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm not in Johnson Valley doing this. Well, I need it rivers uh, because our next mod we're going to check out uh, definitely needs those. Okay, I would say it went up the, uh, we'll call it the noob course relatively well. Um, this might be a little too steep up here, but we're going to try it anyways. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness, this one might need low gear. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's go uh, low. Uh, wow. That's all I can say is, wow, it's it's doing this with ease. Like, no problems. Uh, it's going right up the side here. Uh, we might have to do a thing where we take it out to Johnson Valley and, and put it up against the really, really tough climbs. But, I mean, you got to admit, just this alone has been fairly impressive. We are overheating. It could be the whole fact that I've sprayed it with nitrous. Let's turn that off. Uh, let's see if we can get up this last little area here. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. <laughs> like, what the heck? No complaints whatsoever. Let's throw it off the side of a cliff, though, real quick, because I want to see it crash. I think it's going to hold up really well. This uh, this roll cage looks really good. And oh, 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 wow, that was a really rough bounce. Also, does it have a skid plate? There's like a skid plate under it. I think protecting the drive shaft. That's awesome. Like, didn't know I needed it, but I'm glad it's here. Uh, I'll have all these linked down in the description, by the way, if you want to download any of the mods that you see in today's showcase. So we all know the Wydra is a uh, amphibious craft. It works really well here in the uh, river. We're just going to kind of float right down. But uh, it doesn't control the best, I would say. So why not make this into basically a dedicated boat? And that's what we have here, folks. So yeah, we have two different versions. We have the boat, and then there's the boat with pontoons. The boat itself is, yeah, it's just gonna, hold on, let's put it over in the water. Should have spawned it on the land. So, I don't know how stable this, okay. Nope, I think we're good. I feel like the engine's a little heavy on this one. Hold on, let's put the pontoons on real quick. Oh, okay, there you go. And look at that, we have a boat. Uh, might need to be reset in the water. Uh, let's start it up and make it go. 
Okay, let's see how zip. Oh, I am just going backwards right now. Um, let me let me turn it around. I got this. Uh, this is cool looking. Uh, so yeah, uh, you can't drive out of the water, obviously. So this is a dedicated boat. <laughs> I am letting the current take me right now. Uh, oh, and I got this. I probably need to crank it. Is it cranked? Uh, oh, it says it's out of fuel. Hold on. Here we go. There it is. Okay, I don't know what, what was going on there. Oh my goodness. Dude, this is cool. Uh, you could definitely... Uh, was that the propeller that just went flying? Am I bottoming out? There is a chance we are in too shallow of water here, and this is not going to work, so I might have to change maps. Uh, I Yeah, I definitely think we bottomed out and the propeller hit. Uh, let's go over to Lake Farso real quick, and let's go boating in this. Uh, I feel like this is actually really good. All right, here we go. A nice, relaxing day on the lake. Oh, this works. This works well, actually. Uh, all right, oh, let's turn it. Dude, it turns on a dime. Uh, I really wish we had these when we did the river race in multiplayer where we were using just the normal wide drives. Uh, this one cuts so much better. Uh, this is really good. I don't know what's up with the speedometer. I guess it's just how fast the propeller is moving on. We're becoming a little unstable. Now, keep in mind, this is experimental, so you might see some weird stuff here. But I can assure you for an early version, uh, this is working rather well, and I'm enjoying myself. Also, I think the propeller might have just flown off again. Uh, that might be a bit of a bug. I'll have to go back and look at the description. Okay, I'm trying to ease through. I did confirm. I went back and looked at the uh, the page on the BMG website. Uh, there is a bit of an issue with the propeller flying off. It doesn't always do it, it seems like, but it does sometimes. And uh, yeah, you just have to watch out because you might lose a, a hand or a head because that thing is dangerous looking. Uh, it's fairly fast though, I like it. Uh, we're just cruising across, having a uh, nice relaxing trip here out on the lake. I mean, like I said, the y -Jer was already a, an amphibious craft, but it just, to me, it never worked that well in the water, which I don't think it was really supposed to. Like, this feels a 100% uh, better and a lot more maneuverable. But yeah, I just thought you guys should uh, see this if you haven't already checked it out. So, folks, I lied. We actually wound up coming out here to Johnson Valley because we're going to enjoy our Legrand, which this is, once again, one of those cars that it comes out occasionally. Don't use it a whole lot. But somebody thought it would be a great idea to have the Legrand off-roader here. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> look at how they mounted the off-road suspension. And look at the like the springs, the shocks. Like they don't even fit inside. It's been like I, I would say it's kind of janky looking. And yeah, it's all been welded up here. <laughs> look at the back. It's welded in the back. It pops out the side. It is so wide. Uh this is glorious. And you know what? I think this thing's gonna rip through the desert. Okay, I wanna see if this thing rips here. Oh, wow. It rips. So I saw in the uh, in the mod page that you could actually put like normal like street tires if you wanted to just like uh, go around on those and just be really wide. But I mean, this is impressive. All right, so we're gonna take ourselves to the, uh, the little off-roading dunes. I'm just kind of curious what kind of speed it's got. It's got decent speed. Uh, don't get me wrong. And oh my goodness, let's get off the road here. I mean, this is something you didn't think you'd see in a Legrand. Okay, we hit something. Uh, I need to probably go to the open dunes. Dude, it flipped over, no problem. Uh, okay. Yeah, it does have a roll cage. Like, it's not just the piping that's coming out and supporting the suspension. If you look back there, it's full roll cage setup. There's racing seats in here. Uh, you got some of the classic dash still <laughs> intact. That's beautiful. Also, I spy a supercharger on this engine. I don't know why there's a, uh, a ladder and piping up here. Uh, I don't think this is a work vehicle, but, you know, it's fine. Hold on, let's get out to the open dunes here. Uh, get away from all the stuff that wants to kill us here. Also, I think the cops are after us. Um, we'll have to save them for our next creation, but I'm going to enjoy ripping across these dunes here. Oh, my goodness. This is working really well. Okay. Look at that suspension work. <laughs> Why? Why is this a thing? And uh, you know what? I definitely needed this in my life. Uh, I don't know if it's much of a crawler. Is there a skid plate under there? There isn't a skid plate. Uh, I kind of wish there was. I feel like that might be a vulnerable area. But it is really wide and tall, so maybe you should just get good and avoid all the rocks. Or at least uh, slashing open the, the bottom of the engine. Oh my goodness. Look at the uh, all the uh, dust we're kicking up here. All right, we're heading towards the mountain over there because uh, we're going to try a little bit of crawling with it. I don't know if it's quite made for that. I think it's made for more what we're doing here. And it's doing a glorious job at landing and just bouncing right back. 
Like, honestly, it feels like the perfect suspension setup. Not sure what the creator was thinking. I guess they just really wanted to think outside the box when it came to uh, weird off-roaders. Okay, here we go. Up the path. Probably shouldn't bomb it this hard. Uh, all right, slow it down a little bit. We've got low gear if we need it. Uh, I don't think it's meant for this, but, I mean, it's really tall. Uh, it's just a question of will it have the grip. All right, let's go low gear. There we go. Uh, oh. Oh, okay. Oh, it's low four. All right, so we're getting drive of all of them. Uh, let's try to ease up here. Oh, my goodness. It's it's beautiful. I, I do fear. Oh, yep. Yeah, see, a uh, little wide. Hold on. We can save this. Oh, I might be hooked on my back bumper. Urgh, come on. There it goes. Get some grip. Uh, yeah, no, uh, this isn't an issue. Uh, I thought there for a second this wasn't going to work that well, but, I mean, it's doing a pretty good job. <laughs> oh, I like this. I like this a whole lot. Oh, goodness. Uh, yeah, we're about to flip. But don't worry. This thing is tough as nails. Like, hardly a scratch. I think we uh, we bent. Oh, what is the? Okay, the bumper's hanging on by some. Okay, that was weird. Hey, maybe that's what the ladder's there for. When you flip over, it gives you a cushion. Okay, on. Uh, let's just go up this side. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Conquering the mountain in uh, essentially Grandma's car. I mean, this is what happens when grandma leaves you her car and her will, and you're just like, what am I going to do with this? Yeah, this is exactly it. Um, you're going to make it into an off-roader. Uh, we are almost up the side of this mountain. Uh, for some reason, it looks like the ding that when I flipped over, it's like it's getting worse. I don't know why. Oh, we're overheating now. Uh, can we just... Oh, it Oh, it died. Okay. I think this is where we're going to park it. Um, yeah, there's definitely a rock just shoved up in the engine right now. That is glorious looking absolutely beautiful so folks we're here with our final mod we have a d series and you know what the d series is probably one of my favorite vehicles here in beam and g drive you get a lot of awesome configurations and then you get this yes folks it is a gigantic cannon that has been mounted to the top of the d series i'm sorry but could you imagine the percussion of this going off like could you your head can't be that close to a cannon when it goes off i feel like your head would turn to jelly <laughs> being that close but is this the ultimate police takedown vehicle? So yeah, you have... Oh man, this thing is heavy. But, oh, and there's motor here. Uh, yeah, this is one of those things where it's like, why? I mean, of course, you always had the, uh... You had the normal cannon, which is really slow. And then there's been a couple, like, Mad Max vehicles that have, like, a small cannon. But yeah, this is the big boy. And you know what, Han? How far can we aim this down? I know you can aim it up. I mean, it goes down a, a decent bit. Uh, I don't know if that's vehicle level. I still feel like it'll shoot just north. Hold on, let's go ahead and fire it off. Uh, honestly, not that bad. I, I wish there was a reload button, so you have to reset the car every time you want another cannon shot. So, you know what? We're going to do a round of police escape. I'm going to allow myself, if it's just resetting uh, to shoot the cannon off, I will allow myself resets, and we must make it all the way into the city down to the docks. And folks, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this because this is amazing. So yeah, this thing takes a little bit to get moving. Uh, how do I provoke the police? I could fire a cannon at him. Uh, please tell me I hit this car. Uh, okay, yeah, it definitely fires a little over, so um, I want to use more range targets. Wait, are they mad? No, they're mad at something. Uh, I mean, I'd be pretty mad at me too if I fired a cannon at my head. Okay, it's firing a little over. So yeah, if I reset, I need an alt and then uh, let's go page. All right, it's set as low as it can be. Yeah, when you gas it, it weighs itself back, so it points itself in the, up in the air. It might be best to stop. Uh, so, there we go. We're going to have a shot here. Okay, I'm going to slow down time. Uh, let's just fire it off. Oh, my goodness. Where is it going to go? Where is... Oh, it's so bright. The bloom effect on the cannon now is... It's extreme. Where where'd the cannon shot go? Did it not reload itself? No, oh, there's a cannon. Oh, there it goes. Oh, my goodness. It's just that fast. Okay, uh, did Komodo... Komodo didn't hit anything. The bloom effect on the cannon now is pretty incredible. Oh, here we go. Lined up, primed, ready to go. Oh, okay, just north of the, uh, cop car up there. Oh, we got a hot cannon, uh, on... Oh! oh my. I hope that cop didn't have a partner. <laughs> Jeez. Yep, this is the thing. All right, let's take off. Uh, they're definitely, uh, probably really mad. Let's fire this down at those cops down there. So, yeah, I'll give myself some resets here. Oh, we hit one. Okay, hold on. Let's go down and look at it. Uh, 
Yeah, once it gets going, it takes a second, because obviously, that's a big hunk of metal back there. Uh, but it's got decent speed. Like, I definitely think I can escape in this. Uh, hold on. Fire the cannon down the street real quick. Uh, oh, just went over the uh, cop there. Hold on. Let's try ramming it. Uh, I've got a lot of weight on my side right now. Ugh! <laughs> nice. Watch out, coppers. Oh, jeez. That was a good hit. Nice. Okay. Let's keep going. All right. We have another shot loaded up. Hold on. If I slam the brakes, let's go. Ugh. Oh, okay. That's the secret. Okay. So if you got a close target, slam on the brakes. That way the whole cannon shifts forward and then blast them. Nice. I'm sorry, but this is uh, this is easy mode right now. We totally should uh, do this in online. Like everybody gets a cannon truck and we all like shoot down the mountain and try to blow each other apart. Okay, I'm gonna try to take a turn. You know, honestly, I thought maybe it would tip. Oh, it, it wants to. Uh, it's definitely top heavy. Uh, so no uh, no e-brake turns uh, allowed on hit the brakes and uh, there we go. Jeez, it is so devastating. I actually got two cars there. I think I pushed the cop car into the other one. Hey, I need to clear the exit here. Let's hit the brakes, go boom. Oh, <laughs> oh move the blue car out of the way. Is that, was the ball stuck inside of the, oh. Okay, that was rather embarrassing. Hold on. As long as it still runs, we're good. Oh yeah, look at that, still runs. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna reset it that way and get another ball. Yo, they have a, a roadblock up there. Hold on, let's go, uh, slow it down. I gotta see this. Uh, I think that might be a direct hit. Oh, that's gonna be glorious. And, oh, wow. Okay, we almost killed something there. Okay, back it up, back it up. Gotta swing it around. Oh! <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, I was gonna try to use the cannon to tip us over. All right, definitely top heavy. <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't know if I can count that as an escape now. That was uh, that was kind of embarrassing. Uh, I tipped myself. Uh, there is some little keys, or you see these little boxes in the back, so if you do play with like a, a mouse and keyboard, uh, you could probably click these instead of using the alt uh, and page up and down. I don't know. If it depends on what's easier for uh, you guys, but Hans hit the brakes here. Uh. Oh, I, I wasn't going fast enough, I think, there. Like, you have to be going fast enough for when you hit the brakes, it really shifts the weight forward. Oh, there's a target. Uh. Oh, that... Oh, never mind. I missed the cop car and I hit grandma's. Oh, wait. We just got taken out. Dude, they blew our wheels off. Wow. Uh, that was actually rather impressive. I, I don't know what the point of this vehicle is, but I really wish we'd see more cannon-mounted vehicles. I feel like this should be a trend. 